this video, we're going to go through a brief overview of reproduction in non-human animals. Specifically, we're going to be talking about eukaryotic, multicellular, and heterotrophic organisms. Okay. We need to compare asexual and sexual reproduction because these are the two major camps of reproductive techniques. Many animal species can reproduce both asexually as well as sexually. The first major difference between asexual and sexual reproduction is that in asexual reproduction, one parent produces two genetically identical offspring. And conversely, in sexual reproduction, this occurs through fertilization producing one genetically different offspring from two parents. Another major difference in asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction is that asexual reproduction can occur through some processes called fragmentation and regeneration and also through parthenogenesis and budding. As shown in the picture on the right of Hydra. This is a relatively primitive animal species that lives in the oceans. A fragment or a piece of the hydra can bud and fall off and then can then regenerate as a brand new organism. There are, there are two hydra now at the end that are genetically identical to the parent. In parthenogenesis, this is a different example of asexual reproduction. Take, for example, an unfertilized egg. Okay, we'll take this unfertilized egg here. Let's say this is in a bee population. So there's an unfertilized egg from a bee. In bees, as well as with many other animal species that can reproduce sexually, these can also reproduce asexually. For example, this unfertilized egg during parthenogenesis would develop on its own without a sperm cell to fertilize it into a fully functional adult. These adults will grow due to regular mitosis or mitotic division. Conversely, when animals reproduce sexually, as with most animals, this form of reproduction combines multiple processes. These multiple processes include meiosis, mating, and fertilization of gametes. Gametes are a fancy word for sex cells. We can see two here on the right. One is an egg cell, and one here on the right with the long flagellum is a sperm cell. When these sex cells merge together, either inside or outside the body, this is called fertilization. In this process, genetic information is exchanged and one genetically different offspring is produced. They come from, the zygote is produced from genetically different um, organisms or I should say cells. Some animals even have both male and female sex organs, such as the earthworm. This type of organism is called a hermaphrodite. Finally, remember that while reproduction is not vital for survival of an individual in the population, it is necessary for the survival of a population as a whole and for the evolution of new species. And also remember that all living things reproduce either asexually or sexually or both.